Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and it is another Prepared Monday. And today we're actually going to do a little bit of an in-depth discussion on knots. Now I know you're going to say, but everybody tells us we need to learn to tie knots and they show us these hundreds and hundreds of different knots. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen a lot of those lessons and I've read through a lot of them. And, you know, I know a lot of different knots, but there are some that I find that are far more useful than others. And the site I'm going to recommend today for those of you who are wanting to practice your knots and keep yourself maintained has dozens of knots in all types. There are still just a few basic knots I think everybody should know. And I'm going to go over a couple of those while we're talking today. And I'm also going to point out a few, but I'm going to do it on a uh, desktop view display so that you can actually see the site I'm going to recommend you go check out and use as a resource for your knot work. So I'm going to go ahead and move to desktop mode. So here we are, it's animatednots.com. And as you can see, they actually have a large selection that they have divided their knots up in. And realistically, on here, you're not going to see a bad knot tutorial. Many of these are being used in a lot of different cell phone apps and such of that nature uh, to teach people to tie knots on the fly. However, there are two categories that I would recommend you learn the knots from specifically for survival preparedness, and that would be the basics and the scouting. And here's why. So in the scouting, you've actually got most of the necessary, very basic, very bottom of the barrel types of knots you need to do most common activities in the wilderness. Uh, including how to how to lash, how to do hitches, how to create the rolling hitch, you know, uh, how to do the figure eight knot, the double overhand, the double fisherman's, basic splicing for the eye splice, and the back splice. Uh, you also have the timber hitch, the square knot, two different types of whipping, uh, the trucker's hitch, and even the sheet bend. All of these are very important knots. Now there's one or two that are missing from here that are in the basic knots that I would also recommend, which is the half hitch, the standard overhand, the figure eight, the square knot, the noose and the slip knot. Now the noose here is actually very important because it's actually used in snares. Uh, the square knot has some usefulness, especially in wilderness situations, but it's also something that you can do without if you know the double, the double fishermen's. Uh, the half hitch is one of those that is very useful for temporary work when you're setting something up quickly and are going to need to take it down quickly because it's a non-locking hitch. And the figure eight and the overhand knots make decent, very basic uh, stop knots when you need to create a stop knot in a hurry. Now, I wouldn't recommend using them long term. There are better, better knots than that, and you can find many of them here. In fact, for stopper knots, you can probably go into their section on stoppers right here and get you some very good stoppers. I mean, normally I prefer the Ashley stopper knot when it comes to stoppers. Uh, but you can use the figure eight or the double overhand temporarily or even the overhand temporarily. The problem is, is you just cannot rely on those knots under serious stress. Well, I'm going to include the link to this website in my description down below, as I always do when I start citing sources. Uh, remember, you don't have to learn all your knots in one day, and even if you're very comfortable with knots, you should go back through every year or so and do some sort of update tutorial just to keep them fresh in your mind, because when you need them, you will really need them. Well, and thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube or thumbs up and follow me if you're on BitChute. Also, don't forget that I have a maker support, Patreon, Minds.com, Twitter, Gab, and 
many other social media presences. So if you'd like to actually have in-depth conversations instead of just posting a comment here on YouTube, you can come there or you can go ahead and post a comment down below. I do try to answer my comments when I can and I do like hearing back from my followers. Thank you all again for joining me and have yourself a lovely prepared Monday.